The FBI has gone after what it says is the biggest and most violent gang in Baltimore. And today, 14 members of the Black Gorilla family have been charged with a string of crimes in our city. WJZ is live. Alex Dimitrik with details of the case against the BGF. Alex? Well, Mary, this indictment was filed in federal court this afternoon. And among the 14 Black Gorilla family members charged, one name was singled out. The case we're bringing today involves a lead defendant by the name of Michael Gray, who allegedly was the citywide leader of the BGF gang. And according to the U.S. attorney, yeah, allegedly under Gray's command, court. 13 BGF members carried out murder, attempted murder, racketeering, including extortion, and drug trafficking. According to the FBI, violence, drug trafficking, murder. That's what they do. That's what we listen to for months over intercepts. The FBI investigation and wiretaps into the Black Gorilla family took more than a year. Like the scandal inside Baltimore's jail where Tavon White controlled smuggling, extortion, and bribery, the Black Gorilla family is a criminal organization with a hierarchy and rules. And when people don't have approval and seek to sell drugs in a BGF controlled area, the BGF will either tax them uh, or retaliate against them with physical violence. And that's what's alleged in this indictment. But it isn't the only federal investigation working. The DEA is actively hunting looters who stole drugs during April's rioting. We will identify and we will prosecute the members or people that were involved in any of these 30 pharmacies now that we're dealing with today. And the ATF says it continues to develop leads on arsonists that hit homes and businesses. But it's the spike of shootings and murders since the riots that have federal law enforcement focused on gangs, especially the Black Gorilla family. If you're in BGF and you're in the city, we may be coming for you next. Well, if tried and convicted, all 14 members could face a maximum penalty of life in prison. Mary, back to you. Alex, thank you. Today's indictments bring to 118 the number of BGF members indicted in federal court since 2009.